two, three, three. Yeah. This is the RMAX Showcase. The Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is the most historic collegiate organization in the Western United States. Founded in 1909, the RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome to the RMAC Showcase coming to you from the campus of Colorado State University in Pueblo. We're at the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl. I'm Eric Danner. The CSU Pueblo football program was restarted just five years ago, but already the Thunder Wolves are a power in Division II. The Pack going into their opening game, ranked number six in the country, hosting number 24 ranked West Texas A&M in a game that could have postseason ramifications. The Pack was pumped for their opening game, but on their first play, they fumbled. West Texas got inside the five and returned the favor. Pueblo then drove the ball 93 yards down the field, capped by a Chris Ash eight-yard touchdown. They lead seven zip. The Buffalo stampede right back. Dustin Vaughn goes up top to Lance Ratliff. That's a 57-yard score. We're tied at seven. Then it's last year's freshman of the year, J.B. Matthews on the screen pass from Ross Dowson. 39 yards, pack leads. 14-7. After West Texas ties the game at 14, Pueblo drives down the field again. Matthews, this time from eight yards out. The super soft rushes for 153 yards on the night. T-Wolves up 21-14. End of the half, freshman kicker Greg O'Donnell connecting from 47 yards out at the buzzer. Pueblo leads by 10 at the break. The sun sets, and so do the chances of West Texas winning. Start of the fourth, Kevin Cuff comes up with the interception and the wheels on the freshman out of Torrey Pines High School in San Diego. Check those out. That was the play of the game. 74 yard touchdown. Pack leads 37 to 20. Cuff would be the Armac Rawlings Defensive Player of the Week. Later in the fourth thousand, reading the blitz finds Roger Fannenschmidt in the end zone. CSU Pueblo wins their home opener over a very good team. Final 44. 34. That was a great ball club we just beat, and uh, the score might not, I mean, 10-point win. It was a close game, and they came out and battled, and uh, I think we were satisfied with how we played, though, and we're glad to come out with the win. No, it doesn't send any messages. This win does not define us. Your next game really defines who we are, and then we got to keep going the th game by game. So we got to win the day, and we got to keep focus on that. RMAC teams would go 5-3 and three in the opening week of the season. Adam State starting the season at home against Dixie State College of Utah. The Grizzlies starting a brand new quarterback in Cody Davies. And as KSBK's Bryant Johnson reports, the ASU defense made some big plays. The San Luis Valley was out in full force for Saturday night's home and season opener for Adam State. Dixie State was in town trying to end an eight-game losing streak. Not the start Utah transfer Griff Robles wants. Goal line interception by Cariel Brooks. The Floridian's first career NCAA INT sets up Michael Carl's second career rushing touchdown. ASU's up 10 to 6 at halftime. Time for some explosions. Robles and Dixie continue to move the ball down the field. They did have 419 yards of total offense, but a key stop by Connor Stevens sets up the play of the day. Cody Davies, Drew Edwards, go get your first career NCAA touchdown. 44 yards to the house. Grizzlies up 17 to nine with 32 seconds left. One more shot for Griff Robles, but he throws his fourth interception of the game. This one to true freshman Devin Simmons. Cody Davies is one and zero. Oh. We came out, um, you know, moving the ball okay. Uh, defense played a heck of a game. Uh, they kept us in the game. Did a great job. For Adam State, the most daunting portion of the Grizzlies' 2012 schedule awaits. Three straight games on the road, starting this Saturday in Plainview, Texas, against Whalen Baptist. With this week's RMAC Showcase from Rexfield in Alamosa, Colorado, I'm Bryant Johnson.